and we'll begin with a few questions from the media. Steve Jewin, your line is now live. Honey, thank you for the time. And we spoke a year ago when you were scheduled to face Josh Barnett in Hawaii. Obviously, that didn't happen. It was rescheduled, and then he failed a medical test and was ineligible. And then you were supposed to face Matt Mitrione, and the pandemic happened, and that whole card got canceled. Now you're facing Linton Vassell. So after this whirlwind year, how are you feeling with all these events that have taken place? I feel good, you know. I am feel... First of all, I feel a little sad because the fights don't happen twice, you know. But I can't do no, I can I can't do not for for this, you know. And right now I have the opportunity to fight Linto. I'm so happy for that and waiting for Thursday night. Do you think Linton might be a little underrated as a heavyweight? I know that not every fight since he moved up has worked out, but he's got a very big frame for the weight class, and it seems like a natural fit for him. Yeah, he's a big guy for the heavyweight, you know, I think. Uh, it's a good match. He, he's strong dude. He's, I, I'm very excited for this fight. All right, and how do you see it playing out on Thursday? I tell you before, I, I train everything. As hard as I come here and say I'm going to submit to him because in a fight you never know. Sometimes you see the opportunity, they put one hand and the fight is gone. But I'm waiting in the stand-up, I'm waiting in the grapple, everything. Jay? Thanks very much. And, uh, honey, welcome back. Um, one of the side effects of being sitting for so long, you've been able to watch all these fights in the empty arena. How do you uh, expect it to be when you go in there? Are you looking forward to the experience, or would you have it, rather have the fans present? Sorry, you can cannot go. Are you looking forward to having no fans there, or do you prefer fans in attendance? Oh, always I prefer fans. You know, the crown I think is is better for the fighter. You push you. You know, I think it is 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 nice for the show. But I will understand the situation right now, and and I need to follow the rules. And are you still interested in either Josh Barnett or Matt Mitrione moving forward? Of course, Josh Barnett. But right now, I my fox is in Lintor. He very very talented fighter. You know, he fight for the he he challenged twice in the light heavyweight. I tell you before in, in few interviews, it's hard for you. You fight for the title one time in a big promotion, you know, because you have a lot of killers there, and he do that for twice, and he very tough do. But yeah, in the future, I really like to fight Barnett because a lot of a lot of fans send message and asking when I'm gonna fight him again. I say I don't know, asking Bellator or the commission. I don't know how his his situation right now. I don't gonna talk nothing bad about him. I respect him. He legend. He have beautiful career. But I don't know the situation right now, and and I expect to fight him in the future. Daniel, uh, hello. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, knowing that you've been gone for a while with your stint with the PFL, uh, do you, is there a sense of fatigue with you uh, when it comes to training multiple times for all these matchups, uh, knowing that they're going to get canceled due to injuries or the COVID pandemic? Is there anything that concerns you with your upcoming matchup, knowing that you've trained many times for these fights? Uh, it's hard. You you do full camp train for one fight and come in week the fight if the fights don't happen. But I think it's not nothing affecting. You know, I think is I train. I think I fix something. I have mistakes. And right now, I have the the opportunity to show everything the inside the cage. Dono. Hey Ronnie, how's it going? Good, good. How about you? Not too bad. Uh, it, it, to kind of touch on what you just answered in the last one, it's been a, a difficult period for training. It's been tough for fighters to, to, to get training properly. How is your fitness going into uh, into this one? I don't hear. If you want to know about your fitness going into this one, based on what's happened in the past fights. Sorry? How are you feeling? No, I, I feel I feel good. I feel right now this fight didn't happen. You know, I feel, I feel some good. I think this fight happened right now, you know. 
And I, I'm very excited for this fight, man. I stay away from my family for four weeks, for four months, because for the the COVID, the the coronavirus situation after the the meteorons cancels, I'm going with my family in Brazil for vacation one month, and they all they all the American consulate they shut down, and my family can't come back because cannot renew the visa for pick the stamp, and my family is still there in the last four months so hard for me you know and, and especially in the four months because my little baby she feel a lot and man i'm very excited to to win this fight and back and back with my family i'm gonna give this win for my family for sure uh when when you saw other brazilian fighters uh coming to america to fight during this pandemic of course we saw patricio uh pitbull patricky pitbull has been there leandro ego did it give you a little bit of hope that you would be able to uh to return and be able to, to fight during this? Oh yeah. This time I'm here inside the country, you know, and better to work in my in my visa too for, for change my states and in, in the US. And I know I'm I have I have the fight. I know I only need to wait in for the the the, the time that my visa come back and that's it. Alright, thank you very much for your time man. Thank you. All right, Ryan. Ah, thank you. How are we doing today? Ryan Sprague from IMMA News. Uh, Mr. Marquez, you know, obviously you're fighting a very experienced fighter, but you are just as experienced. Do you think that, as we were touching on it before, the time off uh, for each of you has is, is kind of been draining? Does, does it take a different mindset after a year and a half layoff? Oh, it's hard to stay away to the fight, you know. You need, I, I really like to stay busy. But I I train with a lot of killers, you know, every single day, and I think I I I, I fix something I have bad. I, I, let's see Thursday. Uh, well, again, Thursday's got right around the corner. So with a victory in this, I know that people had touched on whether you'd want to rebook any of those fights that were scrapped. Uh, are you thinking about that at all? Are you thinking about the past fights that maybe got scrapped? Fights that got called off? Are you thinking about those guys, Mitrion? Yeah, I think in the, uh, in the future, I really like to fight Barnett, you know? I think this is fight need to happen because everybody likes to see this fight because I'm there waiting for a step in the cage and I think 40 minutes before the fight, the fight is custom. You know, and Mitron jump inside the Mitron uh, jump in the fight in March because uh, Josh have some problem with the commission. I don't know what can prom problem, but the match is, is I'm 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 very excited to fight him in the future. But right now, is my focus is Linton. All right, last one here, Lenny. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Good, good. How are you, bro? I'm good, thank you very much. Um, my, my last question is well, the last question now of all of it is um, if you got if you fought um, uh, well, I forgot, um, I forgot his name, but uh, um, my question is with a win over Linton Russell, do you feel like you'll get um, a, maybe a shot at the title after the next, or maybe you, the same credibility that you'd get if you fought um, I forgot his name, his head went out of name, but if you feel like a win over Linton Russell will give you a lot of credit. Sorry? Win over Lynn Vassell. Would that give you a lot of credit? Maybe a title shot down the road? Oh, of course. I think I have a lot of credit, but I, I, I don't think the title shot. Right now, I think the title shot, who need deserve this title shot is Tim Johnson. He's my teammate, and he worked hard for the last two wins, you know. I think he he deserved this, you know. I think after after win uh, Linton, I need to, to pick maybe one or a couple more fights. And and I right now I, I, I really like to stay busy fight. You know, I don't I don't think about belt right now. I like to fight, stay busy, you know, you win for my family. Yeah, sorry about that. I kinda I lost my words. My original question was uh, a win over Josh Barnett uh, compared to a win over Lenton Russell. Do you feel like a win over Josh Barnett would have a I, I really believe more... because I see Mm -hmm. I see in a few interviews, and uh, Scott Cooker say for Bryant to fight for the title, he need to win before in, in, in Bellator. He need to win, have one win inside the cage of the Bellator. And I, I think I'm beating Josh. Of course, I'm in a line for the title because, man, he's a legend. He's world champion, you know. You know him. He's a legend. 
it's it's completely different win, you know. Have win with him, have more power. All right, thanks for the time, honey. Good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.